pretty supreme understanding, supreme design online, supreme design publishing, and all that good stuff. Um, while I got all these boxes in the car, you see what I'm doing, you know, it's, it's, it's more in the trunk, you know. We were snowed in in Atlanta, so we got a little bit backed up on business. So now we playing catch up, trying to ship out a gang of orders. This is really half of what I got, what got to go out. Um, figured I'd talk a little bit about Supreme Design Publishing and what it is that I do and what it is that we do, you know. Um, cause I am Supreme Design Publishing, but Supreme Design Publishing is not just me. You feel me? You know, just like KRS One is hip hop, but hip hop ain't just KRS. Um, and with that said, you know, Supreme Design Publishing is a different type of business model, and so I might really need to explain it. And it's a goddamn shame that I got this new um, HD camera, because I ain't lined up right, you know, I'm, I, just listen. I don't really put that much into how I'm looking on a day-to-day -day basis, you know what I mean? Because at the end of the day, um, my ability to write, communicate concepts, and, and, and just really like... Uh, me being able to strategize is what makes me bread at the end of the day, you know? So it's like, I don't need to try that hard to look that clean, so don't worry about me. If I'm looking shaggy and scruffy, I ain't doing bad. I'm all right. You know, and really, if you really know the game, you know that, you know, most people who are doing all right, man, they be wearing the beat-up shoes and all that. Like, you know, hell, I just had to get this new whip just so that I can make sure that the youth understand where I'm coming from, you know? Because I got to show them something. That I can't be talking about how to hustle and win and pulling up in an old 88, you know what I mean, for that's good. So, you know. Anyway, Supreme Design Publishing. Supreme Design Publishing is a socialist business model. Like, what that means is that we're not all about profit. Now, of course, you need money to keep on, you know, generating product and keep on marketing and keep on reaching the people. But at the end of the day, our goal is to empower the people. We don't put out nothing spooky and the weirdo stuff. We don't put out none of like that fan like fantasy stuff. We don't do that. You know, if we ever do put out something fiction, it's going to be like that fiction is going to teach a lesson. It's going to be like soldier, a sister soldier's coldest winner ever times ten. You know what I mean? No disrespect to sister soldier, but, you know, that's what we want to do. That's, that's where I, you know what I mean? That's where we set the bar. We set the bar on excellence. Um, so, we put out things that are practical solutions for problems that we have observed or problems that people have communicated to us. People say, hey, listen, man, these relationships all through the hood, even through like the conscious community, whatever, man, they all just falling apart. You know what I mean? These motherfuckers just almost wrecked behind me. Look terrible. Anyway, um, so. We want to just make sure that the, the hood gets better. And not just the hood, but like oppressed people, period, you know? We want to do something. That's why we got books in Spanish, you know what I mean? We got we got children's books. I mean, we even got playing cards because it's like we just want to reinvent the world all the way across the board. I'm talking about everything. Everything you could think of. We want to hit all angles. Um, and so it does take money to be able to do that. But the beautiful thing about it is that we put out products that are so good that the people that are supporting to the point where we are generating that type of money. Hell, we even got people that want to invest with, like, not even really want no real interest back. They just want to invest because they believe, they support what we're doing. They have confidence in what we're doing. Let me not even say that they believe. Because they know what time it is. They know what we're doing. Ain't no questions about the integrity of this company. Like, nobody's uh, uh, wondering where the money's going because you can see it. You know what I mean? And the thing is, we're transparent. Like, we tell people, like, yo, this is where this is going. This is how much we need to raise. This is what we're doing. You know what I mean? Like, that's how a company should be run. We allow regular people to get money with us. We wholesale our books. No, nobody else is doing that. Nobody else is wholesaling their books to the general public. You know? I'm talking about we offer people some, I'm talking about more than 50% off just so that they can sell the books. Because, you know, you can get on any street corner or, or go anywhere in public and sell books. They got my books right there. They got my books right there. You know, you can go to any street corner and sell books, and it's not illegal. And that's in most states. I don't know about the laws in your city. You know, um, books and art, you can you can move that um, without needing a license or whatnot. But we allow people to do that um, because we want people to get this bread pushing the truth, pushing answers rather than more questions. We don't put out books that, um, you know, that just deal with, like, paranoia and and like 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 little obsessive type things that like I mean I know the people is into it, but we don't want to promote that. Man, you you know like I told somebody the other day, you got enough of that already. You don't we don't need more of that. We don't need no more concerns about boogeyman, and we don't need no more concern. I mean, no disrespect to the to the people, some of whom I love, who you might be thinking that I'm talking about, but I'm not talking about them. I'm just talking about what we do.
you know um we don't want to put out like the like here's how to get to know your spiritual center and all that like and again no disrespect to the people that do that because that may be what they feel that the people need but in my analysis and our analysis as a as a company we said you know what there's a lot of that let's start dealing with what there's not a lot of let's start filling those gaps that are not being filled so that's the way we approach business supply and demand we look at where okay what is needed now you might not the people may not know that they need it but we'll see that there's a need for it and then when we show them look this is what you need to resolve this issue now the people know that they need it and that's how we generate the demand you know um so again back to the profit sharing model we allow people to invest if they're involved with the books we allow people to basically get the same amount of bread as anybody in this company so I'm not in a position where I'm like just leveraged to like be able to do so much better than somebody else because what I put in is what I get back. What somebody else put in is what they gonna get back. That's how we do it. Now it'd be beautiful if more companies could do that, but I don't see that happening anytime soon. But I'm gonna teach y'all about that, and we're gonna put that out in the book that we're gonna do on business. I ain't even got the title figured out for that one, but it'll be out by this fall, you know. So we're going to show y'all how the business model could work. Because with this cooperative economics thing that people be talking about, man, everybody ain't putting that into practice. We're going we to show y'all what that really is about, you know. And there's a way that you could be successful doing it. I mean, you know, like we was negotiating, uh, uh, you know, foreign, foreign shipments with like, you know, India and China and all that, like last year. So this, this is nothing, man. Like big business is possible, even on that socialist, collectivist type of level. So don't believe that you just got to exploit people to get money. You don't got to do that. You ain't got to have no pyramid scheme or even a pyramid structure in terms of your organization to get, get money. You don't got to do that. You know, see, our company is more like a web rather than a pyramid, you know. No disrespect to the people that built, built pyramids either, you know. We just want people to understand the principle of I eat, you eat, you know. And, and, and let you know that, like, yo, man, it, it's real, man. Like, you can really make that happen. Like, you can actually get together with people that you trust in solidarity and, 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 and transparency and say, you know what? We're going to make this happen as a unit and really see that happen. And they've done studies that show that when people move, think, and in terms of a group dynamic and they're respecting each other's input, you get more done. You know? So, with all that said, man, I ain't going to uh, drag you through all this. Man, go visit the website, supremedesignonline.com. And, and see what we got going on. Everything from the, the 365 days of real black history calendars to uh, how to hustle and win to um, the hood health handbook. You know, we provide the practical solutions for real problems. That's our goal. And if more people could be all about that, man, we really see the change we want to see in the world. Let's not talk about it. Let's do it. And if you're not in a position to do it yourself, you ain't got to do it yourself. Find a way to collab with us, man. Hit us up, you know. Get something wholesale or talk to us directly. See how you could be involved. You know, we're available. Peace.